going. I'm here to relieve you. Good. I'm Go hungry. take your break. It's about time. You're off duty now. My feet are killing me. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't even know. Greetings. Ugh. Wow. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. All I know is that I want you. I'm not talking to you about anything. That fetcher of a guard, Terelius, is always trying to be sneaky. What's this about? What do you want? I was at Olav's earlier. I ran into this Dunmer named Raynald Drelis. After a round or... Hmm. What a bother. Don't be too long about it. I got to stay with you, so there isn't any funny business. It's all over, lawbreaker. Hope you I don't even get to see what was in there. By the way, the guards tossed you in here. I can see you're no friend of theirs. I suppose I can trust you. <laughs> in fact, maybe you can help me with a bit of a problem. And make some money for yourself in the process. Cool. I'm in here for the long haul. They got me for murder, even though I didn't do it. And once the Count makes a ruling, there's no way it's changing. I owe all of this to that heartless, treacherous witch, Arnora. You want to know what happened? I'll tell you. I was betrayed. Stabbed in the back. I'm in here and Arnora's out there, living in my house. Ah, we were doing petty crimes all over Cyrodiil. Small scores. Ten gold here, twenty-five there. Nothing big enough to have them investigate you. Then along comes Arnora with a plan to waylay a tax shipment headed for the Imperial City. We're talking serious gold. Complete with armed escorts. I told her she was crazy, but she insisted. Women have a way of getting men to do what they want. So we did it. We ambushed the shipment. In the process, Arnora killed a guard. I told her to be careful and just knock them out, but she didn't listen. We then buried the gold in the woods. Then she disappears to get supplies. Suddenly, the campsite gets raided by the Bruma City Guard. There's no way they could have found us. Well, there's no doubt she tipped them off. But I was one step ahead. I had moved the loot while she was away. <laughs> My final revenge. Or was it? <laughs> I'll tell you. 
I want Arnora dead. That's right, I said dead. She took my life away, and now I want hers taken as well. Okay. You do this for me, and you get the gold. All of it. All I need as proof is that damn amulet she always wears. Show that to me, and the money's yours. Okay. You want the gold? Finally, a chance for revenge. You've got nothing to lose, so why not just tell me and save us both a heap of trouble? Yeah, sure. You're gonna end up rotting here anyway, you idiot. Look, you horse's ass. I never trusted city guardsmen. Oh, they took all my stuff. Never! So I'm definitely not gonna start trusting you, Torellius. Suit yourself. Enjoy your stay. I don't talk to inmate. Yeah. Well, I don't know how I can get out of here. Until you get out of here and I see an onion. Listening. Hello there. Morning. I'm Logvar. Hafid pays me to stand around and keep things quiet. Nords who drink either get friendly or mean. I'm here to deal with the mean ones. Did you hear about Braden Lyrian? A vampire hunter named Rainil Dralis made his way into town, snuck into his house, and killed him. 
Good day. Well, welcome to Bruma, stranger. Hafid Hollowleg. I'm your host at Gerald View. Baird? Ah, you mean that vampire hunter. He's staying over at Olav's Tap and Tack. It's near the city gates. You can't miss it. Aha. That's what I needed. Lyra Rosentia collects Akaviri artifacts. She might have a project in mind. Her house is west of the chapel. Did you hear about Brayden Lyrian? Ugh. Ah, let's do business. Goodbye. Head on. The Emperor and his three sons, dead. Right under the noses of the Imperial Guard. It's a disgrace. I just don't think about it. The Elder Council will take care of things. Hello! What can I do for you? I usually don't give out that kind of information, especially to... Good journey to you. What can I do? Yes? Now that'll get you something. See, every little bit helps. Raynil's staying in the last room down the hall upstairs. Here's the key. I always liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. What can I do for you? Just look for me if you need anything else. What can I do for you? Gelleborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. Raynal told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelborn down and killed him. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Raynal and his so-called accomplishment. And nothing else I can tell you about him. He comes and goes and doesn't talk to people much. Just look for me if you need anything else. Thanks, dude. Okay. Mm. Go 
take your good morning. Mercy, I've just one coin. Go take your break. It's about time. any more questions? Yes, I remember Braden mentioning that name once. He was part of the brotherhood he had created with Rainil. I know I sound desperate, but I know... So, any new revelations in your... Mm, investigation? How do you know about that? Ah! Oh. Too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Raynal not too long ago. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. Oh dear. What do you mean you disagree? That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? Then don't go around flinging act. Now, if you believe what you're saying is true, keep up the good work. Okay. Oh, so. Yes. What proof of your outla- I, I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense now. Why else would Raynal have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skingrad? I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Raynil from Braden's body before we arrived. To think that two innocent men were killed, and that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... I'm speechless. I will rouse the guard and begin a search for him in the city. Meet me at Olev's Tap and Tack in one hour. Do you have any... I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right.